Welcome to Retreat Finder. Today we're looking at two portable power stations from Jackery, the 1000 Plus and the 1000 Pro. We're going to look at these two portable power stations and look at the key ways in which they compare and their key differences. Starting with the differences, they have different types of batteries, different types of lithium ion batteries. They have different storage capacities, charge cycles, which basically tells you how long you can expect the battery to last, and output power. Those are some of the most important differences between the two. In terms of battery type, the Jackery 1000 Plus has a lithium ion, iron phosphate battery. This is a big upgrade from the nickel manganese cobalt batteries that they used in their Pro line, primarily because these new batteries have a four times longer lifespan than the older batteries, and they're generally more stable. They're less prone to overheating and overcharging. This was a big upgrade from the Pro to the Plus models. Next, the number of charge cycles between the Plus and the Pro models. This is where the new lithium iron batteries come into play. With the Plus models, you get 4,000 charge cycles compared to only 500 for the 1000 Pro. So that's a huge difference and that tells you, as long as you properly maintain your portable power station, the number of charges and discharges that you can expect. 4,000 charge cycles can easily last you more than 10 years if you take care of the battery. Battery capacity is the amount of energy that you can store in the portable power station. The Jackery 1000 Plus has expandable capacity that starts at 1,264 watt hours, and, but you can expand it all the way up to over 5,000 watt hours. You can do this by buying additional battery packs and attaching them to the 1000 Plus. The Pro can have a maximum of a little over 1,000 watt hours of, of energy. The benefit of having an expandable battery, expandable capacity, is that you don't have to buy an entirely new portable power station to increase your capacity. You can stick with the same one and just buy a battery pack, which is much cheaper than having to buy an entirely new portable power station. The next difference, which I didn't, did not mention at the beginning, is that the 1000 Plus has Wi-Fi connectivity. So you can actually connect to the internet, which means that you can manage the portable power station using the Jackery app. You can also get like firmware updates through, you know, automatically through Wi-Fi. This is a great feature because let's say you want to turn the power station off. You can just go into the app and you can do that without having to actually physically walk over to the power station. You can also monitor it, make sure it's working correctly. The Pro doesn't offer this at all. So this is a, a huge benefit. Output power. This lets you know what types of devices you can connect to the power station. And the 1000 Plus has a lot more output power. You get 2,000 watts on your baseline output power and 4,000 watts of surge. That's a temporary amount of power that you can tap into for a small bursts of power. In comparison, the Pro has 1,000 watts baseline to 2,000 watt surge. You could connect an energy intensive device like a power tool to the 1000 Plus that you couldn't connect to the Pro. One of the next differences is charge time. This is the amount of time that it takes to recharge the power station using different modes from, from plugging the power station into an AC wall outlet or connecting solar panels or even charging through your car's DC outlet. Both of these, if you plug them into the wall, you can charge in a little less than two hours. In terms of solar, it takes 4.5 hours to charge the Plus by using solar panels, but the Pro can recharge in 1.8 hours by solar. In terms of DC charging time, the Plus takes seven hours and the Pro takes about 4.3 hours. So those are big differences. In terms of portability and weight, it's important to know like how easy it is it to transport the power station. The Pro weighs about 25 pounds and the Plus weighs about 32 pounds. The Pro is technically more lightweight. And then when we look at outlets and ports, they have the same outlets and ports. You get eight total. You get three AC outlets, you get two USB-A with 18 watt max per outlet, you get two USB fast charge USB-C with 100 watt max per port, and you get one DC car port. That didn't change from the Plus to the Pro, that's the same. In terms of bonus features, the Plus has an EPS capability for power outages. What that means is you can connect the Plus to critical devices that you don't want to be um, affected in case your power goes out. Let's say you have like a medical device that you need to make sure always has power, you can plug it into your Jackery 1000 Plus, and if your power goes out in your house, the Jackery will automatically activate and turn on so that your device will never lose power, even if you're in your house or wherever you are, loses power. The key standout features for the Jackery 1000 Plus are the 
the lithium iron battery that is superior to the, the older NMC battery in the Pro. You get more charge cycles. You get 4,000 charge cycles versus 500 on the Pro. You have a longer lifespan. You have higher output power. You have also have app control, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. And you have this EPS capability. The Jackery 1000 Pro does have faster recharge time using solar and DC, which would really be handy if you're camping or somewhere where you're kind of away from a power grid. And it is more lightweight, so it's a, it's a few pounds lighter than the Plus. So hopefully this video has been helpful to understand the differences between the Jackery Plus and the Jackery Pro. If you have any questions or any experience with either of these, please leave a comment in the video. There will also be Jackery links in the video description. Thanks for watching.